Hi, welcome back to another episode of On the Water. Today we're out here on Mille Lacs, my home guide body of water, fishing lead core. We're gonna go through lead core 101, speed, lures, line, at what depth lures run, how critical speed is when presenting the baits. We're gonna get into all that real quick. Oh! <laughs> Just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. On to the setup. We got my snap, got my lure. I've got 10 pound green mono. That's basically my shock absorber, that and my rod. That right there is a small little ant swivel I use, and that's if you hook a little perch, or if you foul hook a leaf or a twig or something like that, that'll allow that tip line to spin and not kink up your lead core. And I use a polymer knot on here, then I burn the end with a lighter. Just about four colors of line out there. And again, that's four colors, four to five foot of color. So that's 20 feet. Plus my 30 feet of line on a number five jointed, which puts me down another four to five feet. Boom, it's set. Pop open the rod holder, put her in there, make sure the drag's reset again, and you're fishing. I'm gonna kinda go through what I'm doing here. I had four colors of lead core out. That put me down 20 feet. 20 feet and then plus my lure. Now my lure's got about a four to five foot depth here. So it's put me right at about 24 to 25 feet. Oh, and that's a nice wall right there. Just slide them right into the net here. When a fish eats a bait like that, you know you're dialed in to your color and your speed. Today has been kind of an odd day. We've had storm, a storm line coming in from the west for the last couple of days. We've had for 10 minutes it's sunny, for five minutes it's cloudy, and then for 45 minutes it, it, it rains a little bit, sprinkles, and the fish have been affected by that. They're raising up and down, they're moving shallower, they're moving deeper. Sometimes the deeper fish are raising up off the bottom, and we're gonna go over that when we come back. On the Water is brought to you by Red Door Resort and Motel on the north shores of Lake Mille Lacs. Markham Technologies and the new LX9. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Yarcraft Boats, experience the dry one. Welcome back. You know, when you mark fish, whether that be six foot, eight foot, two foot, one foot, above the bottom in the water column, a lot of people think that just because those fish are high, they're, they're, they're more active. And that, sometimes that's true, most of the time that's true, but a lot of the times you'll run into cases like we had today where we're running that bait within one to two foot, sometimes ticking off the bottom and just taking five foot off and putting fish in the boat. Now at other times of the day, we are fishing four, five, six foot off the bottom and putting fish in the boat. So when you go out for a day of lead core fishing, don't always have a predetermined notion of where you're gonna catch fish at all day. Right on the top of that shallow, when we came across, we actually picked up a little snake northern and I wanted to go run back over it. And this fish actually hit on the inside line. It's digging pretty good. A lot of times on Mille Lacs, you'll get walleyes and smallmouth hanging together. Come here. There we go. And it pays, like if you catch a pike or a bass on one spot and you think, oh, those are all bass or pike, that is a nice, chunky eater fish right there. Look at the colors on him, just nice and gold. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Once you have your math figured down, it's real easy to put these baits within 
two to three feet of where you, you know, where you think they would be. Wow. Chunky, chunky, chunky walleye. Oh. Oh, yeah. You see that fish right there is a product of putting your bait where you mark the fish on the screen using the right speed and lure combination and you can catch a bunch of fish like this here. I can't stress enough, if you just go out aimlessly and start trolling lead core, you're not gonna be too successful. You gotta put the bait within two or three feet of where you're marking the fish, preferably above them. Use the right speed and keep your eye on the fish finder and constantly adjust your line out. Where your bait is at in the water column is critical. And we're gonna talk about how speed, line out, and insides and outside turns relate to that when we come back. There's an old saying, you can give a man a fish or teach him how to fish. But what if you gave him something that taught him how to fish better? Smarter, faster. Seems like you've made a happy man. Markham, tech that makes anglers happy. Welcome back to On the Water. You know, speed is one of those things you always have to pay attention to. You know, too slow and you're going to be dragging those baits right on the bottom. Too fast and you're going to be cruising them way too high out of the fish's reach. So always pay attention to speed. As a general rule, again, 1.8 to 2.2. But that being said, don't be afraid to burn lures at 3 miles an hour, 2.5, 2.8 are all great speeds to run lead core when the fish are hitting fast. You know, once you get dialed in, it's just plain fun. You know, I. I think I've given you guys a lot of tips to be able to go out and do this with a simple rule of five feet down a color plus your lure with 30 feet of tip line will get you catching fish in no time. Just swing that guy in. We actually moved over to some deeper gravel. We changed up lures it's a little later in the day. You can see these fish are still really active. You know, the, the main thing with lead core is don't get locked into a recipe with one lure, one lure, X amount of colors out. Always be changing your presentation and make sure you're listening to the fish. And what I mean by that is when you're watching your fish finder, if they're at 20 feet, put your lure at 16 or 18 feet and make them come up and get it. Watch your speed, 0.8 to 2.2. It doesn't hurt to move the boat around right to left and dial in those fish. Sometimes they want it a little fast, sometimes they want it a little slow. If your inside rod's always going on a turn, slow it down and put your lures at that depth. I've got one last tip for you guys. We all know lead core goes down for every color four to five feet. Now another tip to help you guys out is right here. Take your Sharpie. This is a box full of number fives. The first color on my lead core reel is white. Second color is yellow. Third color red. Fourth color is purple. And fifth color is black. Now, I also put on here plus four to five on this box. That means these lures in this box, if you have four colors out, that's 20 feet plus four to five foot with number fives. That'll keep you in the zone at 1.8 to 2.2. Now, here's my other tip. Here's my box full of jointed number sevens. I just simply wrote plus five to seven on the box. So for four colors, that's gonna put me down five to seven more feet past my four colors. So a total of 25 to 27 feet at 0.8 to 2.2. I'm Brad Hawthorne, and you'll catch more from us on the water.